Hello everyone. Today's video is on how to take apart the sear block or sear cage of the CC75 SP01 or CC75 series. This is for the uh, safety model. The cage for the uh, decoker is a bit different. I don't have this one so I cannot show it to you. What also you will need is, uh, what is it? The 332 punch and you don't want the one with a ball at the end you want a flat so any 332 punch uh, those springs here you have two springs one here as you can see and one heated right inside there have very little pressure so you don't have to bother putting all this into a bag and that's why I'm going to easily show it to you so what you want to do is put a punch right through it one side or the other and ride that pin out and then as a safety measure I put my finger on top of the spring but there is absolutely no pressure and you pull the block up and everything falls so we have the what is it called uh, the ejector that's the entire frame we have the sear we have the firing pin block lever. We have the sear spring and the lever or the firing pin block lever spring. That's it. In this case, I'm going to show you how to put it back together facing forward. So that's a, the front of the gun. And that is the ejector here. You want that sear you see that part here pointing forward and you are going to sit the ejector on top of it as such a uh, little advice when you work on something you never worked on before take pictures with your cell phone as you go along it helps when you have a question to answer all right next part will be this uh, firing pin block lever yeah, don't ask me to say that 10 times quick um, and we are going to put that little spring right in it this way now that end here will be facing back and you are going to see what I'm talking about as everything point forward I'm going to point that part back uh, I probably have to tilt the block and slip oops the spring came out uh, so all this is just simple uh, dexterity and I suggest you you built uh, like a model airplane or ship or something to get used to all those little parts before you play with all that it, it will help you build up okay and now from this side I'm going to put my punch and try to capture everything in the process except I haven't put that spring yet. So I'm going to have the long arm facing forward right here and I'm going to retract the punch there you go oh, that spring went down too far there. again it's kind of a pen. All this is is not hard, it's just a pen. Now you don't want that little arm in the back. See, falling underneath, or you won't have any resistance. That arm here is where the pressure comes in, front and back. So let's do that again. There we go. And through everything there you go I think I got my pressure uh, yep I can see oh, let's see I can see that part moving and coming back I can see this one moving and coming back so everything is in working order now all you have to do is put your punch through um, I'm going to put a little bit of oil 
through that pin because that pin has a lot of a, well you can see the pin has some wear marks right here and there all along so that's where you have metal to metal contact and that is where I'm going to put a little bit of oil come on there we go just at the tip and as I push it in the oil which I remove the excess is going to lubricate every metal to metal contact so that is the most hardest part of rebuilding it uh, you just have to wiggle things around so create some pressure on the punch and push that pin okay I'm all the way by the spring I don't know if you can see that but my pin is right there and I will have the pin go inside the spring there we go let's drive it and my thumb is starting to get sore that's okay I'm almost there there we go and I am in and that's it okay so I need there and that's it I think people who have uh, decorkers are crying right now because uh, it is my understanding it is a lot harder to build one of them and then we have this one here Oops, not this one, and the other. So all I have to do now is rebuild the gun. All right then. And this is how to disassemble and reassemble the CZ75 sear block. So until next time, see you guys.